now see the next chapter that is magnetism and matter. So, in this chapter first one is that is bar magnet. You must be knowing about the properties of the bar magnet. Suppose if you take a bar magnet and suspend it with the help of the thread like this. So, the north pole of the magnet point towards the north and south pole point towards the south of the earth. So, that is actually the bar magnets are also can be also used to determine the direction. So, if you take a bar magnet like this, which has got two poles north and south, maximum pole is strength here in this case like in electricity we have been using the charges negative and positive charges here. Here we give for the pole strength that is m and minus m. In some, book, some books you will be getting the magnetic charges here that is q m and this is minus q m. But see here the pole strength lies just below this surface not exactly on the top and here also this one the distance between these two poles is known as 2 l that is called magnetic length. And the whole length of this magnet here that is l is known as geometrical length of the magnet. So, see here the geometrical length of the magnet is larger than the magnetic length of the magnet. So, for the any bar magnet if you have taken and you know it it has got the north and south pole like this and this is the north and this is south. If you place any north pole here or the magnetic compass, so this will be going following this path and here we can take in this way. So, magnetic field lines actually originate from the north pole and merge at south pole and also going into the magnet here. It means inside the magnetic magnet here magnetic field lines, lines are found, but actually in the conductor electric field lines are not found inside the conductor. So, magnetic field lines are actually forming here the closed loops. So, they are originating from north and merging at south. So, here we can draw this magnetic field lines and the tangent to these magnetic field lines at any point gives the direction of net magnetic field at that point and two, two magnetic field lines of the bar magnet do not intersect. If they intersect at a point it means there will be two directions of the magnetic field at that point and magnetic compass if it is placed at that point it will be, it will be pointing in the two direction which is not possible. And the density of the magnetic field line at, a, a, at any particular region or in a particular region shows the strength of the magnetic field. So, if the crowded magnetic field lines are found somewhere it means magnetic field is very strong. So, these are the something about the properties of the magnetic field lines and some basic characteristics of the bar magnet. Earth also behaves as a magnet. So, we will be doing here the next part of this chapter and the, when the earth behaves as a magnet that is why whenever we suspend any magnet it gets attracted by the north and south pole of the earth magnet and it gives the direction or shows the direction here. So, this is about the bar magnet. Now, see here Coulomb's law of magnetic force, we have done Coulomb's law of electrostatic force, similarly here we define here the Coulomb's law of magnetic force. Now, see here suppose you have got the two bar magnet like this is here, one is having north pole and one is south, another is here north and south, these will repel each other. This will be going to this side and this will be going to this side. Suppose this has got pole strength m1, this has got pole strength m2 and these are separated by a distance suppose r these two poles. Then Coulomb's law of the magnetic force or we can write or the magnetic force is directly proportional to the pole strength of these two and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them. So, we can write f is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi is constant in this case m1 m2 divided by r square where mu naught upon 4 pi is constant and its value is mu naught upon 4 pi is equal to 10 raised to power minus 7 tesla meter per ampere. So, this is about here the Coulomb's law in magnetic force and in the electrostatic force we were taking charges q 1 and q 2 here we are taking the charges m 1 magnetic pole strength m 1 and m 2.